Hey, Manic Fash. 5th of March, 2024. Do pray you well. Time just flies. I mean, I don't know where the time goes, but regarding Trump in Nashville for the National Religious Broadcasters Convention, very interesting. The very same day that AT&T had a massive service outage, okay? For whatever reason, it happened. But you had Trump in Nashville with these Christian broadcasters, right? Sowing seeds, if you will. That's what a broadcaster does. So he's calling on the religious community to join his fight against the radical left. Now, I want you to think about this. Many of Trump's followers picture him as a Messiah type or a Jehu. There are many types that have been placed on Trump. But this came to me, and it really seems to resonate to me. Trump is a Barabbas type. And why do I say that? Because he's pushing the religious sector like a zealot. Barabbas was a political religious zealot. And he sowed seeds to create an army of patriots sowing sedition and insurrection. This is what Barabbas did. And the parallels with Trump are just uncanny. He's being presented as a Messiah figure. He's a very proud Christian. He's a fellow believer. I would ask, which Jesus? Okay, you got to ask these questions. You Trump supporters never ask these kind of questions. And, and don't take into consideration that there are many, many false Christs, false prophets, false teachers. We must try the spirits to see if they are of God. Wouldn't you agree with that? To be here in this beautiful Nashville with, this is a great place, with the National Religious Broadcasters. What, a, what an important group. And they're giving you a hard time in Washington. But you won't have a hard time in about uh, 11 months from now, I can tell you. So here's Trump at the National Religious Broadcasters Convention. Now think about this. National Religious Broadcasters, primarily Christian. And the term broadcast goes all the way back to way before radio and television. And it referred to sowing seed and i see this as the broadcasters of religion are sowing seed and remember the at&t connection as at&t is a broadcaster you know they own broadcasting companies so on and so forth but an enemy crept in unaware and sowed tears broadcast tears so now you have this issue there are tears amongst the wheat this is where he describes his own understanding and knowledge of the bible you have to listen to this pastor robert jeffers he's up there all the time and he's always saying good things a long time ago when i just uh, announced he was on fox of all places and he said, uh, no, he may not know the Bible as well as some. He may not know every passage. He may not know it actually so well at all. <laughs> but he's the greatest leader, and he is a believer and a strong believer. And he's going to take us to places that we would never have been taken before. And he turned out to be right. He turned out to be right. He may not know it actually so well at all. But no one will be touching the cross of Christ under the Trump administration. I swear to you, that will never happen. Never happen. It's going to bring back the churchgoer. I mean, you have to see. I don't like the charts when I see charts where they're going in the wrong direction. We don't like that. We're going to bring it back. And I really believe it's the biggest thing missing from this country. Because I'm being indicted for you. Because I'm being indicted for you. Indicted for you. And never forget, our enemies want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away 
You have freedom, and I'm never going to let it happen. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. And in the end, they're not after me, they're after you. They're not after me, they're after you. They're not after me, they're after you. I just happen to be standing in the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Such a humble man, but you heard him. Whether you receive it or not is on you, but he told you they're not after him. They're after you. He's just there to sow the seeds of insurrection, a spiritual insurrection. Remember what Jesus said, If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight. Do you get what I'm laying down? But Christians, they can't afford to sit on the sidelines in this fight. They have to really get out there. They have to do what they have to do, and they have to win. They have to get out there and do what they have to do to win. This is a Barabbas type situation here. He's trying to get you to get up, get out, and win. And if you're a believer, a saved, spirit-filled Christian believer in Jesus Christ, then you've already won. They want to keep you in this carnal realm and destroy you spiritually. If you love this world, do you realize that's enmity against God? I pray that you all understand what I'm trying to relay here. There's so much more that we could speak on this, but I'm frankly just tired, man. I do speak on other things, but not much on this channel. As you can tell, I have not uploaded here much lately. But I do upload fairly regularly on my other channels, which the links are below. So, I mean, I would suggest that you just go there and sub to them only because it's the time where we really need to stay focused. And I'm going to do my level best, God willing, to share things with you that can help us and edify us because it is here. God bless each and every one of you, truly. Peace and grace to you, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 